This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and today I am going to be reviewing three products. The three products being Unload 2 uh, by Anthony Stan. We're going to be reviewing the expert at the chard table, da, 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 Daniel Chard. And we're going to be reviewing the Ninja's Cardistry Kiwi playing cards. Three products. And then at the end of this week's review show, we're going to be giving these bad boys away to a winner of the competition. And that will most probably be announced in two weeks from this video. Quite simply because next week I am going to Masters of Magic. So if you are going to the Masters of Magic, then make sure you mention it down below. Come over to the stand, the Magic World stand in the dealer's area. Say hello to myself. I'll be there with lots of cool products demonstrating and most importantly making new friends. So Masters of Magic in Italy, which is in St. Vincent. I cannot wait. Uh, come on over, say hello. Uh, it'll be a pleasure to meet you and to catch up. Um, but after that, I'll be back. Uh, there will be a review show shot for next week, but uh, then when I'm back is when I will announce the winner. So in two weeks from now. And uh, yeah, we have been, or should I say, I have been a little bit lax in doing the review shows recently. And uh, all I can say is, I don't know when they're going to all be. Simple as that. Until we get into a regular schedule with this place built, which is very, very close now, uh, then it will be once a week again uh, very soon. But let's get going. I know you just want to check out these tricks, see what they're like. And I know I was excited about these ones too. So let's check out. Uh, we're going to leave this one to last. Unload 2.0. Uh, let's start off with uh, expert at the chard table, the classic treatise on card manipulation. Uh, let's cut to a trailer of this product now. It says where the name is. Oh, you are kidding. You are actually kidding me. <laughs> what does it say? Welcome to Expert at the Chard Table. So on this project, you're going to find a load of effects from my professional working repertoire, ranging from extremely easy to intermediate. Every effect on this project is achievable and was designed for layman's impact in mind. 100% it wasn't the four. No. It's just crazy. And the thing is, I, I didn't need to know the cards. Like I said, it was sophisticated light detection equipment, right? right? And the reason I love this routine is a vertical light detector which has an interesting premise and a finish that happens at chest height. The cards didn't need to know. So I'm kind of free think of your card. Kind of one, two, three, changes into, <laughs> right? So not only do you reveal the selected card, but you also produce the four of a kind. One, <gasps> two, three, and no four way. sixes, the mates of your card. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> so this is a decompression routine of a four, changing into two twos, and then visually changing into four aces. Each phase offers a new method and a visual routine which you can immediately incorporate into your card repertoire. So in my wallet I have one card. It's my bank card, Claire. So in bank change, the details of a debit card visually change into the selected card that a spectator has chosen. <gasps> You are kidding, you are actually kidding me! What's it say? King of Hearts! What's the card you took? King of Hearts! Claire, we have a miracle, right? But then it's a uh, kicker. It changes from one card into the spectator number two's card. Claire, it's of interest. You put your hand up for me. <laughs> and put your other hand on top. Put your card. I want you free. Lift your hand up. It should change from the king. Oh. And what's it say now? Jack of Spades. Are you taking the mix? So it changed from the king of hearts into a Jack of Spades. can see the twos here. If you snap the fingers, you can actually change these into the one, two, three, four aces. So this uh, trick is one you can do at corporate tables of 10 people. It's current closer to my bar set and there are various um, elements which I've included from various sources which can make this one complete, almost mini act in and of itself.
So all of this is visual, commercial magic, which plays extremely well, it's powerful, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. That is crazy. You're coming to my friend's wedding, I'm making a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pick him up. Do you do weddings in that? Of course it is. Okay, I'm back. That is the expert at the card table, and it retails for £21.99. £21.99 for what I would say is a quality DVD. A quality in many ways. Uh, it is shot really nicely. It is edited well. It's taught well. So Daniel Chard really goes through everything that you need for every single effect that is taught. And that is a fair number of effects as well. So uh, what I'm going to say is on this product, um, on this DVD, you're going to learn quite a lot of different tricks. Now, I watched this this afternoon and I went through the different uh, routines. I even maybe might be using one myself. Uh, I tested it out on Christina and she loved it. And uh, such a simple trick. And it was actually the very first one, the three to one Dunbury. It's, it's a trick I've seen many a times and I've just kind of never really done it. And I thought, wow, this is just Simple is something that you will pick up in just a few moments. I mean, literally, you can pick this trick up in 10 minutes. The presentation is, of course, a very different matter, but the actual effect, the handling, is simple. It's easy to do and yet very effective uh, because their thought of card disappears from five cards and now there's only four and suddenly you go into your pocket, you bring out the cards one at a time, but it's not the correct card. You get it wrong, so it's wrong. And it's each of the other five cards. Suddenly, you're left with one card in the hand when you had four before, and that is actually their chosen card. So it's kind of like a double whammy of a, a magic effect. And um, very, very simple, and yet very, very effective. So you get a lot of really good effects taught on this DVD. So for the value of $21.99, it is definitely up there. Um, you get business card collectors, three business cards, three cards, and uh, they manage to locate the chosen cards. Very nice premise, nice ideas. And you have lots of other effects as well. You have five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six main effects, and then the nice part about it is that you also get quite a lot of bonus features. So you're getting one uh, backfire sandwich, vertical lie detector, revelation, and multiple different routines for it, and revelation by Andy Gladwin. So you're getting quite a lot of, uh, of value for money. You're getting a lot of bonus features, and you're getting the one, two, three, four, five, yeah, just double checking, six tricks. So yeah, six tricks. Don't get me wrong, you can go out there and get the real at the card table, the book. You can learn hundreds of tricks. And I highly recommend you get um, at the card table, um, expert at the card table, get that book. It's one of the best things that you'll ever get. But uh, this is fantastic because you're learning visually. And uh, nowadays with DVDs out, it just helps with the learning process. Some of the tricks are super easy, but some of them will require a, a little bit more practice. I wouldn't say they're at the top end of expert, but they're certainly going to take a little bit more work to get right. But it really is... Uh, how do I say it? The emphasis is on being able to learn these quite quickly, uh, not too difficult in terms of sleights of hand. So this is perfect for, I would say, the beginner in magic. And I'd also say it's perfect for the intermediate in magic. And hell, I'd even say for the advanced, someone who's done magic for a long time, just wants to get back into it, maybe recoup a few really good routines, then this is definitely on the card table for you. So check it out on our website right now. I'm gonna give it a rating out of 10, and I'm gonna give this, oh, there is one little note I nearly forgot, I nearly forgot. And this is probably the, the only downside to this, uh, is there's a trick called bank change. And this is, if I remember right, um, shown quite heavily in the trailer. So bank night is two credit cards uh, that says the two of hearts and three of diamonds. It actually matches up with the playing cards that two people have chosen. So it changes once and it changes again. Now, there was me being naive, thinking that, well, you've shown this on the trailer, you would get that in the package. You don't. You have to find those cards somewhere else, uh, buy them from somewhere. There's plenty of sites that can do it. We, hell, we can even produce as part of Print by Magic. Hey, never thought about that. We can print our own um, credit cards, but they don't have the embossed text that he shows on the demo one. So uh, that would be my only criticism. You don't get those two gimmicks inside the pack. All you get is a DVD, but you get really nice explanations. It doesn't have to be done in the same way, but Bank Night kind of says you do need those credit cards. So really, you're going to have to go out there and uh, make an additional purchase for that 
if you wish to do that effect. So that's probably my only criticism of this. It would have been nice to have received those gimmicks in the pack ready to go. But having said that, uh, getting back on track to the rating of this product, I'm going to give this a rating of... I'm gonna give this a rating of eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, um, because I think for value for money, $21.99, you're getting quite a few effects. I think perhaps what maybe just knocked it down was not getting those little gimmicks inside it. But the general teaching of the effect is pretty easy to understand. And also the angles, it would have been nice to have a couple of closer up angles of the cars from the back as he's doing the demonstrations. But to be fair, it's very well shot. You can still learn very, very easily from what he's doing. So it's, it's a very good true tease on Card Magic, and I think it's definitely worth uh, $21.99, and I definitely think it's worth an 8 out of 10. So check it out. Any questions, just get in touch. Let's uh, go on to product number two. This will be the Ninja Cardistry Playing Cards. Don't forget, after this, we have Unload 2, which I'm excited about as well. But this is a different sort of review because whenever I do playing cards, I don't want to uh, review it ahead of time. I want to actually take the seal off right in front of you and do this review right here. So that is what we're going to do. These cards, let's see if there's a trailer to these cards. We'll cut to it now. But if there's not, or I decide not to put the trailer in, um, these retails at £10.49. And what I really, really like are the colours and the design. Uh, it just looks really cool. I mean, look at that funky box. I mean, it really is quite funky, right? Cool. I wonder if that will uh, change the focus if I do it over my face like that. So the box is really, really cool. I like the ends. Expert card, uh, uh, sorry, world card experts. And on the case here, manufactured by United States Playing Card Company. So uh, that is the box. Let's go to some opening shots of these of this deck of cards. Okay, so here we go with the Card Street Ninjas. Uh, let's open these uh, like this. Oh, they're nice and smooth to take up. That's great. Let's uh, check out the box. So World Card Experts. The box looks very nicely printed. And let's take them out. So we have, first of all, the Kiwi Ninjas on the side, which look pretty, pretty cool. I really, really like those. Uh, colourful. I just love these colours. I love these colours so much. Uh, thickness of the cards, they feel just about what I would like. Not too thick. And let's take them out. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Uh, I don't know what it is I like about these, but I just love them. I love the vibrant colours. These are the kind of cards I'd like to be performing with all the time. So, Ninjas, Cardistry, WorldCardExperts.com. I'm just giving you a plug there, Cardistry. And on the back, you get a regular backed card. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. And lots of opportunity here for different sorts of uh, markings, I guess, as well. But... Have a look at this one here. So that's kind of like that, but without the middle section, which is pretty cool. But that side does have it. So I like that as well. And now we have, ah, let's go through it. So the Ace of Clubs. So that's the backs now. That's the fronts, that's the backs. Uh, the fronts, let's just go through them one at a time. So we've got the Ace of Clubs, Two of Clubs, Three of Clubs, Four of Clubs. So yeah, for a lot of these, I'm not sure if you'd be wanting to play too many card games with them just because, you know, they're not as clear as a regular deck of cards, but they're certainly funky. I love the fact they've got no faces and they're kind of like, oh, there's his moustache and his moustache is still there. So I'm not sure you can see that, but that is really cool. I love that aspect of it. And uh, same with the queens, just the mouth of the queen, the kings, um, a bigger moustache. That's so cool. Now, let's just go through them a little bit quicker. The three of uh, diamonds. A bit hard to tell those at the time, but yeah, there you go. And then we have the... Yep, yeah, so we go through them like that. Spades, I'm guessing that is. And hearts. So yeah, not for playing cards with, but for cardistry, I'm sure it's going to be epic. Now on top of that, you're getting this card here. So you're getting quite a lot of extra gaffes here. You're getting uh, black with that there. And you're getting this one here like that. So in total, four potential cards that you might be able to use in some way with different tricks. And then on top of that, let's check out the backs of these cards. Um, oh, now that 
makes it worthwhile. Look at that, it's so cool. Um, so I guess if you can fan them that way, you get one color. If you can fan them this way, you get the, uh, the whites. So if you're good at reverse fanning, then you can certainly get some uh, beautiful little patterns uh, with that. Ba -ba -ba. So for cardistry, I'm pretty sure this is gonna look amazing. I'm not gonna shuffle these up because I want to be able to uh, uh, to keep these in order for the time being, but cardistry people are gonna, I think, love these cards. Let's see how they feel. Yeah, they, they, they spring pretty well, like that. Let's try this spring here. Yep, they spring well there, they spring well here. So all in all, they handle well, they're smooth, they're United States playing card quality, so you know that they're good. And uh, you know that you're going to be able to do all the sorts of cool moves that you would expect to be able to do with a deck of cards like this. And uh, this is no exception. They feel great. They're not, they're not too tight. They just feel absolutely perfect sort of spring. Uh, my cards the way I like them. So there we go. If you're into cardistry, these are definitely recommended by me. Boom. Okay, so that is the uh, Ninja Cardistry Kiwi playing cards. I'm pretty sure the Kiwi by the colour. I'll double check on this afterwards. But these retail at £10.49. And uh, I'm going to give these a rating out of 10. And I'm quite simply going to give them... Um, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Because I just think they're quirky. I really like them. And that's just me. So 9 out of 10 for the Kiwi Cardistry Ninjas. Let's go... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to product number three. Product number three. Oh, and don't forget, we're going to be giving away these very, very soon at the end of the review show, so make sure you keep watching right till the very end. Uh, product number three, Unload 2 by Anthony Stan. Let's go to a trailer of this product now. here and this is the unload box it looks like a regular box but just with this box you can perform a lot of different effects this box is a tool so you have one box endless possibilities and only one limit your imagination
Okay, we're back and let's get on to uh, unload two. This is, or should I say, retails at £34.99. And you get a nice box. Two nice boxes. You get this nice box and the box you get inside. Now, without giving away too much, I can't give away too much. You get the deck of cards, the box. Pre-made, fully ready to go. You get some other bits of things. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you get a special piece of plastic um, and you get something else. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go into any details of what those three things are. But uh, when you get them, uh, once you have uh, watched the video, and might I stress, you have to watch the video, um, you will then have a good idea of uh, how it works. So uh, you get three items inside it, the deck of cards, and the nice thing about it, even the detail, it still comes in the seal, and the seal is almost sealed properly, that's all I'm going to say, so you can still use it as though it were sealed, um, and have a way of accessing in and out of the deck of cards, which is pretty cool as well. And now, it does let you do all the different things that it says. So, it, you know, you can switch cards, you can produce, switch decks, you get rid of them, not switch decks, just ignore me there, you can get rid of the deck, so you can one minute have a full deck of cards in, and then next minute, all the cards have vanished except for their playing card. And, might I say, I think, well, I'm pretty sure that the routine will fly quite well with any audience. The only thing you have to think about is you will be wearing a jacket for this, and also on top of the jacket, you have to be a little bit aware then of your angles and how you're dealing with people. But because you're wearing a jacket, you can do it almost surrounded. It doesn't really affect you, the angles, as much. So, in a very simple gesture, um, with a full deck of cards, and you can actually put the cards very cleanly into the box, with their playing card lost in the middle. And yes, there's a little bit of work that needs to be done, but very little. The gimmick does most of the work for you. Um, that In that one action, you can then bring the cards up here, and you can see the playing card here, right through, so the whole deck's inside it still, and you push with your finger, and literally it melts through all the deck vanishes except for their card. And the best part about it, you can give them the box then, and they can open it up, and, um, and then find their playing card, and the rest of the deck has vanished. Now, I have to compare this to V-Deck by Alakazam. Now, I am going to just say V-Deck is something that I've been performing for a long time. I don't like to advertise it. I don't want other magicians finding out about it. In a way, the trick went under the radar V-Deck for quite a while. It's such a phenomenal effect. And... Uh, it's something that I do in every performance. If you've not got V-Deck or you've not seen it, check it out. Imagine the disappearing deck on steroids. It's incredible and it is perfect for walk around magic. I do it at all my gigs and it absolutely slays people. The best part about V-Deck, it sounds like an advert for V-Deck now compared to this. I'm just trying to explain the differences. The difference is, is that if you just want a disappearing deck, then the V-Deck is probably the trick for you. You can actually they see you putting the full deck of cards into the box. Sure, you don't spread them out and do loads of stuff like you do with this one. So that's the difference there. You can't spread them out, but you can show the whole deck and you put it into the box. Then you take their playing card, put it into the box. And now you put it in their hand and they actually begin to feel it getting lighter in their hands. Then you lift it up and there's one card in there, push your finger in and it looks like the whole deck just vanishes, melt, has melted away except for their playing card. So that's without any movements or any steals. Whereas with this, you have to do a steal method, but you can show a fan of the cards beforehand. So in many ways, two very different, same, similar effects, um, but my heart is still kind of with V-Deck in many ways. For me, walking around, I would much rather be doing it with that method than a stealing method. That being said, this certainly has its place, and I think uh, you'd get a lot of use out of this in other ways. The box is extremely well made. It has, um, I'm not gonna say too much about it, but it's just, it's well made at the ends, and it just means you can do some really cool stuff with it. So you have a way of uh, stealing a deck out of the box, pretty much invisibly. And at the same time, but you have to wear that jacket, remember? Uh, stealing it away invisibly. And you can do the same with leaving a playing card inside or taking a playing card away or stealing a playing card to then load into an envelope. And all these different scenarios are, are gone through in quite a lot of detail on the videos. So the one thing that annoyed me with this product, first of all, was uh, 
I went on my mobile device, that's all I had to watch the tutorials at the time. So I went on my iPhone X and it got to the password screen, typed in the password, and suddenly everything's massive, it does not fit on a mobile device, I couldn't watch the videos. So that did not work. I then had to go on my, web, uh, on my mobile and go to Puffin Web Browser, which is like a, a way of viewing a full screen proper website, and I went to it again on my mobile device. Then I began to watch it and an annoying pop-up came up asking me for details while I'm learning. Now, and because it's on a mobile, I couldn't click the blimmin' cross because it kept moving every time I went up and down. I couldn't click the cross, so I had to reload the page just to get back to the video. Uh, so that is my downside. If you're going to go down the route of non-DVDs and it's gonna be online instructions, you have to cater for mobile devices as much as you do for um, desktops. Not everyone has a computer nowadays. We use iPads, we use our phones. And uh, if that is the, the preferred method, you have to, you have to cater for it. Um, but also, I'm not bothered about the advertising and all that. I just wanna see the trick and learn the trick. So um, anyway, that being said, rant over. The actual videos are very well done. He goes through them and it's both in English and French. English is very well, sort of sort of dubbed, but very well done over the top. Uh, better than any movie I've ever come across. It's really done well. Um, if you watch the first two tutorials on the disappearing of the deck, he doesn't actually go into the full details. And I was like, okay, why, how, why does this not work? And then I had to realize, I had to look at video three, which was kind of like the setup and instructions and why it would work to make it work, if that makes any sense. So you, you'll know when you get it. Um, but it was a bit confusing, but with a bit of persevering, and of course I'm on a mobile device going like this, um, I managed to get it and I think it's a nice routine. I think it will work. I think even in the real world, it will work pretty well. There's a bit of fiddling when you're putting the deck of cards back into the box, and that's probably what I don't like compared to comparing it to V-Deck. I don't like fiddling putting the cards in, making sure that the flap is put in the inside of one playing card and all this kind of thing. Um, but the way the deck is made allows you to steal, ditch, do all these different things with it. So, and it is quite cool when it ha when you play around with the box. Um, you do get really good feelings. It's, oh, this is cool. So, uh, yeah, I think I've talked enough. But all I'm going to say is you are going to be stealing something away and that something then has to uh, be either reset or at the end or something else like that. It's not instant reset. It's now the deck's vanished. It's in there and you have your jacket on and that's all I'm going to say. You have to do the reset and... Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult though, it shouldn't be too difficult at all. It's just, would I want to be doing walk around with things attached on the inside of my jacket? And if I'm doing walk around, I've got all my different pockets full of things, then that would have to be something I would take into consideration too. But for a lot of people, this will be fabulous. I'm gonna just jump to a rating out of 10 because I've waffled on about this. If you've got one of these, let us know what you think down below. Um, but I, I've tried to describe it in the best way possible and I do like it. I wouldn't say I'd go out of my way and run and get it unless I have a use for it or an effect. I do like the disappearing, but I have my V-Deck. So I'm gonna put a link in the show more section for both this effect and V-Deck underneath it. So uh, if you haven't seen V-Deck, check out the video. Gregory Wilson does a great job on, on showing it, but uh, it's a fantastic product and it is on our website right now as well, 24.99 or something like that. But, and this one is 30, um, I'm just looking down at 34 pounds 99, but you can do additional things with it. So let's give it, let's just stop waffling. Rating out of 10, I'm gonna give this a, uh, I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. So six and a half out of 10, for the actual gimmick in the box, I, I love it. But, uh, and I think six and a half, 10 is certainly still a very good little effect. Six and a half towards seven, but I'm gonna give it six and a half. I'm gonna go with my initial gut and say, it's a nice product. If you've got a use for it, then go out and get it. Um, yeah, that is the end of the review show, except for the competition. So, this week we're going to be giving away the Cardistry Ninjas Kiwi playing cards. Ta -ta -ta! And uh, 
what do you need to do to win this deck of cards? And it's very simple. Just click the subscribe button and the little alert button next to it. So you've got to click subscribe and the alert button. Okay. Then you have to do one more thing. Now, this is going to be, um, this is just one last thing. Click, the, click that subscribe button and click the thing. Leave a comment to say that you've done it. But then I need you to do one more thing. And because of this, I'm actually going to give away two decks of this, all right? So to two different people, uh, because I'm going to ask you to do two things. You click subscribe and click the uh, notification button. Then I want you to go onto magicworld.co.uk. So check out magicworld.co.uk and on the very front page, underneath the banner, you will see the uh, subscribe form. Now, recently, we've had to get everybody to resubscribe to everyone's newsletters. It's the new GDPR, whatever on a, you know, it's just all about privacy, it's a good thing, but it means that we have to start our fan base almost from scratch, uh, which means we need more emails, we want to share our information, share our deals with people, and that's all we will ever do, is share with you the best possible deals, share with you voucher codes, let you know about this new studio, and our review shows as well. We never pass your details on to third parties. So just go onto magicworld.co.uk and just type in your email and click the submit button just underneath the banner, and that is all you have to do. Enter your email and subscribe to this video. Boom. Simple as that. Why didn't I just say it like that at the very beginning? <laughs> then we'll announce the winners in two weeks' time, and you're going to win two decks of the Cardistry Ninja Kiwis. Uh, thank you very much for watching this week's Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony. Don't forget to say hello at the Masters of Magic in Italy if you are going. And ciao for now. Bye bye. Testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two, do, 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 do. good evening and welcome.